Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today I'm going to show you how you can control your TriCaster's DDRs with the Flex Control Panel. Make it easier to queue up clips, commercials, replays, whatever with this awesome device. So, let me show you how it's done, son. All right, so I have my TriCaster 2 Elite interface up and I have my flex control panel here at my desk. So now, let's bring these two together and make some magic. Okay, so let me go ahead and zoom into my flex control panel here to show you the different controls for your DDRs. So you'll see here, under where, uh, above where it says bank, these are my stop start uh, controls as far as moving between my different clips, etc. within my DDR. And then we also have a button here for autoplay so I can turn autoplay on and off simply by clicking that button. Uh, but how do we get to the DDRs itself to determine which ones we want to control? Well, that's easy too. So from here, right next to autoplay, there's a button that's called set. And when I click that and hold it down, you'll see now I have options over here for my DDR1, DDR2, even my sound bank if I need it as well, uh, directly from here. Now, uh, say we're on a TriCaster that has multiple DDRs, you only see DDR1 and 2 here, well, we can fix that. Uh, so you click on, also hold down Shift once you're in the, the set mode here, and now you have options to control your DDRs 3 and 4. So you can go through and just simply click on those, and now I'm controlling DDR3, uh, and now I'm controlling DDR4. Okay, uh, but let's go ahead and go back into here and I'm going to just uh, focus on DDR1 since I have that one up. So another option you'll see here is an option to put your uh, uh, TriCaster DDR bin into loop mode. And if I click on that, you'll see on the interface for my uh, TriCaster that my loop icon here has been illuminated. And if I click it again, eh, it goes away. All right, and same thing on the autoplay side of things. Now that I currently have DDR1 selected, I can turn autoplay on, I mean, sorry, off, and then illuminate it, and now it's on, okay? And so now from here, basically, I can go through and play my DDR clips however I want. Now, since I have autoplay on, all I have to simply do is queue it up, say, in my preview, for example, hit auto, boom, starts to play that clip. All right, pretty cut and dry there. Okay, so let's go ahead and take that back and let me hit double stop here in my DDR. And so now the other thing I want to show you that's pretty cool is uh, within your DDR bins, you can have, I mean, you can have a bunch of other uh, preset bins in there as well. So uh, for that, to access those, let me go ahead and zoom out here to show you some more things you can do with it. There we go. Okay, uh, so from here, uh, if I click on hold down set, yeah, again, you'll see these options here to control which DDRs, but then you also have options for the 12 different preset bins that you have on your TriCaster as well. So I'm in DDR1, bin 1, and if I click on 2, you'll see in my interface that switches over to my uh, clips that I have in my uh, preset bin number 2, and over here to 3, etc. So you can do on a quick draw, just, hey, I need to get to my DDR1, you know, bin 1, cool, set, go over here, bam, done. That's all you got to do. Pretty quick and easy. So uh, from, from after that, you can simply move use your controls from here or leave it in autoplay mode. Kind of up to you how you want to do it. But a whole lot of variety and flexibility that you can use with the Flex. So I highly recommend playing around with this. And of course, have some fun. There you have it. Another awesome way to use the Flex control panel in your productions. Now, for more information on the Flex Control Panel and other New Tech products and services, contact your local New Tech partner or visit our website, newtech.com. And for more tutorial videos like this one, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash newtechinc. For formalized New Tech product training, check out New Tech University at newtech.com slash newtech u. And as always, if you're posting your work with New Tech products on social media, make sure that you tag us using the hashtags New Tech, TriCaster, or 3Play. We love seeing what you are working on. All right, now we're going to be at NAB 2023 this year in Las Vegas, so I'm looking forward to meeting all of you in person. It has been a hot minute. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon for another episode of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.